Oh, don't mind my hair. Um, see, I was told by numerous people that if you have a severe illness, like circadose, like I have, um, then it's strange that people want to date you. That people want to go out with you to movies or out to eat. Um, that that's not normal. That for them to feel that way or want to hang out with me, there has to be something wrong with them. Or with anyone that has a severe illness or disabled. Um, or no teeth, too. See? That makes it even worse. That if they, after knowing I have sarcos and teeth missing, if they still want to hang out with me, go to movies or out to eat, or even date me, obviously they're up to something. Um, I don't think that. I don't know. I don't think like others. Um, I think if they don't want to hang out with me because of that, then I'm better off without them. But they're missing out. Um, I'm an amazing person. And just because I'm, just because I'm disabled and my illness caused me to lose my teeth, get them pulled, doesn't mean my value as a person has lessened. And if someone doesn't want to date me, hang out with me, be friends with me, or even get a chance to meet me or get to know me because I have sarcoidosis and I'm disabled or because I have teeth missing, well, then that's their loss. They're missing out. And I don't think people should feel <clears throat> because they have a serious illness or terminal illness or are disabled. <clears throat> sorry. Um, or that they have teeth missing or no teeth. That their value as a human being and in life is lessened. Or if they can't work, their value in life has lessened. When it hasn't, you're still valuable. You're still a rare gem. And if people can't see that, then that's their loss, not yours. But if you don't see it in yourself, then they're not going to see it in you. And that's sad. If you feel... Just because of certain circumstances or certain stuff happened to you, that doesn't make you less and you shouldn't feel that you are. I've been broken. I've been abused. I've been mistreated. I've been cheated on. Even when I was beautiful and skinny. And... Even with my illness. And. <sighs> that doesn't have nothing to do with you. I don't know why. We always end up. Especially women. Blaming ourselves. Oh well. We either did something. Or we didn't do anything right. Or we didn't do certain things. Or we weren't good enough at something. Or. Pretty enough. Sexy enough. Whatever. When that's not the case. That's. The other person, or the person we were in love with, the significant other, that's on them. You can't stop someone from cheating, but you can stop them from mistreating you by showing them the door. Same with cheating. Because usually, they cheat once, and you forgive them, they're going to keep doing it. And... Just because you may be a little scarred or broken from past relationships. Or have baggage. Or health issues. Or may not be skinny anymore. Or may not have that many teeth left or none at all. Whatever the reason. 
we're getting older. Well, we all are. Doesn't mean your value in life has lessened. Doesn't mean your value as a human being has lessened. You're still you. You're still a rare gem. I can't work anymore. I miss working. But I can't. And at first, I felt useless, worthless. And I was also called that. Sorry. And it doesn't help when the person you love, loved, treats you that way. But this illness has taught me. It's taken a lot from me, but it has taught me so much. It's taught me to never be ashamed of who I am. Never be ashamed of how I look. And I'm still here, so let's always feel blessed. And always know that I am blessed. Not everyone makes it to their 39th birthday. I did. Not everyone survives an illness or gets to be old. Or whatever. No one's promised the full day. And no one's promised tomorrow. So, try to live life to the fullest as much as you can. And be happy as much as possible. And negative people, you shouldn't have them in your life. You'll be a lot happier. A lot better. It's scary for me being on my own now, but at least I don't deal with fighting every day. And I don't deal with abuse. I don't deal with any of that. I, the stress isn't good for us. So, but it's hard to go places on my own. I'm scared because I lose my vision from time to time. And I miss, I miss being able to go to the movies, out to eat, and to Grand Island, to the fair. But I also missed being loved, feeling loved. And I came down with this illness, I didn't feel that. I didn't have that. And when you have sarcoidosis, you don't want to deal with this, everything. On your own. <sighs> you want to have someone. Be there for you. But you want them to. Be there for you. Sorry I had to take a little break. Um. When you have sarcoidosis or any serious illness, if there's no cure or doesn't get better or it takes time, whatever, you want someone there for you that's going to make you feel loved, cared about, not make you feel like a burden or worthless or physically or mentally abuse you and whatnot. But a lot of us, when we become sick, we lose loved ones or we get mistreated 
and it's hard being alone. Um, some people are lucky when they become sick, their love grows stronger, which that should have happened, but it doesn't all the time. You need someone to be there for you if you fall. It's a lot of times we do. Our vision goes, or we lose our balance, and we fall hard. And a lot of times we can't get out of bed. So we're in that much pain. And we need someone to help take care of us and be there for us. Which is hard. Especially when... You're alone and you don't have anyone. Like going to the store by yourself sucks. She had trouble seeing and I lost my vision last month at Walmart and fell hard. Going to the doctors by yourself. Is very lonely and maybe someday I'll find someone that will show me the love I need and care about me and worry about me and thank God for me being in his life and know that every day that I'm in his life, that it's a blessing. Just know, no matter what you're going through, no matter how much baggage you have, or damage your relationship from your past caused, just take time to heal. And it doesn't make you less than. You're still worth a lot. You're a rare gem. Um, in my past, when I left my first love, just because I wasn't a virgin anymore, I thought I was damaged goods. That I didn't deserve to be loved. I thought I didn't deserve to be loved, but the truth is, no matter how sick you are, if you're sick or can't work, or don't make enough money, or don't have a nice car, or wear nice clothes, or disabled, or your memory doesn't work that good, or you don't have that many teeth, whatever. We all deserve to be loved. And that doesn't make our value in life lessen, and it doesn't make our value as a human being less than. We're still a rare gem, and we deserve to be treated so much better. And we should know this for ourselves, that we deserve so much more. And we should love ourselves, and know what we will put up with and what we won't put up with. Well, hopefully your day is better than mine, and pain-free. God bless you. Bye.